Hello and welcome to another update video about ADA. Only a quick um, update. After yesterday's video, we already left our trend reversal area here of wave four into wave five. Um, but for now, it's not entirely clear if we already are in the wave five, because at the moment we only have three waves to the upside. Um, the potential is still that this correction develops a little bit further. So we talked about ADA possibly being in a breakout scenario, did so far hold our support areas here and could start to a third of a third or into a third of a third rally next. Um, basically bottomed here in wave two on 27th of March. At least that is what we can see now. We broke out of our wedge pattern to the upside. These descending wedges often break to the upside and we then rallied to previous highs. That's always, as I said, the first target of a wedge is always the beginning of the wedge. So that should have been um, straightforward. And the thing is now, how do we do deal with the subdivisions here? I did explain to you yesterday that currently I'm still counting this here as a WXY pattern in a fourth wave because we moved up off the 27th of March low in a one, two, three. Possibly this is a four correction and then the five down happening now. There's obviously different possibilities here. So this wave four seems to be quite strong, quite long in its um, you know, time, time wise compared to the wave two. So I'm a bit skeptical. Is it really the wave four? Um, we still need to keep options open that we could come down a little bit deeper um, and that we already completed a five wave move. I mean, if we completed the five wave move, it's not entirely clear. That's why I'm not doing it. But it would be something like this that I would put the four here yeah, and the five here. And then we have already a wave one complete and then a wave two down here. That's why I've got this alternate wave two on here. And I actually put the alternate wave one on here so that you, you know, it could be that this was already the wave one. But it's not entirely clear. The wave four is a bit unclear. Yeah, I'd, I always like to see deep wave fours. Not too deep though, but you know, to a, to a degree that we can um, distinguish it clearly from from the from the subwave structure. Um, I mean, if we measure this and take a look at how high did the third wave actually go, two point six one eight extension is a perfect target for a third as well, right? But also for a fifth. So, had it just been the one point six one eight extension, I would say okay third wave, fine. So here, if I move the wave three down, then you can see it reacted to the 200% extension. That's in my experience, even more common for a third. It had the four here and the five, but it doesn't, you know, it doesn't matter so much overall anyway, which, which of these, because both scenarios would be bullish for now, as long as we are holding Monday's low. So in this particular scenario, we just have one, basically this wave five to finish. What would be the target for the fifth wave? So if we measure the length of waves one through three to the last low here, which was made on Thursday, then the target for the fifth wave would be, well, the first target would be 39 cents, but that's a bit too short for a reliable fifth. So we're looking at 40.2 cents or 41.1 or 42.3. Those are the levels to watch with a standard one would be 40.26 cents. Um, in this scenario, we should just continue to move up. And I've so far have a possible wave one, a wave two. This might be a wave three that's unfolding, then a four and a five to complete this fifth wave. Um, what happens though, if we now fail to rally? So if we now fail to rally, one second, if we now fail to rally and come close to the Thursday low and even break it, then I have to see this as an extension of the correction. Yeah, and we will probably reset wave two, but then would come into this area. So either either way, against 34.7, 34.8 cents, so we can focus on higher. Um, and um, yeah, I'm, at the moment, I'm looking at this primarily at the fourth wave with the potential to break out in a fifth, or if it completely escalates, could wave two have been finished here? Yeah, possibly, you know, uh, but anybody who entered in the trend reversal area shouldn't really care anyway. Um, we had our entry points here for ADA. I think we had one here. I took that out. Um, here was one on 21st of March. So um, yeah, there was time to add. And now it's above the trend reversal area and just need 
we just need a bit more patience to see if this is now working out yeah, and if the setups are working out for ADA. Overall target, yeah, if I take a look at this higher degree third wave, overall target would be at least 45.2 cents for this third, but probably higher looking at the subdivisions. All right, that's my update about ADA. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.